I'm back on the Borg Warner or the York Borg Warner furnace and I'm fixing to pull the burners and the gas valve and clean everything out and then I'm going to reassemble everything with a new pilot assembly and I've already done the best visual inspection I can of the heat exchanger and then we're going to do a flue gas analysis. So here we go. turned off That filter is about done for. I can probably wash it.
hooked up. All of that is assembled. These have little compression fittings in them. There's one right there. That aluminum tube. Let's see if I can show you. That aluminum tube needs to go all the way to the end of that because this little brass fitting compresses on it and uh i had a little trouble with that also i had trouble getting this threaded but we're fixing to put all this back together and we'll test it i actually had this too far over and it was keeping from keeping me from mounting this whole assembly into the burner compartment. So I'm gonna try again. I just drilled a hole and moved I got it all this put back together and look at my pilot now. I have a really nice pilot. I, I may try to put a clip of what I had yesterday. We're fixing to turn this on and then I'm going to do an analysis. All right, we got it fired up. I'm waiting for the blower to come on. All right. We're fixing to do an analysis. Honestly, I don't know if I should put my probe right up in there. I literally had to plug this into one of my Makita batteries just to get this thing to fire up. And I probably had it fully charged and then I had it fully charged and for some reason it it just didn't do right it says 53 percent i don't know why the dang thing shut off but where you all right we're going to start recording and i'm going to put this up in the flu all right now we're getting some readings i'm getting one part per million carbon monoxide my um oxygen is 9.8 9.5 7.5 that's really good 
carbon monoxide is at four parts per million. I'm gonna go over to the other one. The um, Borg Warner lives to see another day. I kind of enjoyed fixing it. I don't, I'm glad we didn't have to replace it. Thanks for watching. Ooh, that thing eats up some gas. This is the copy of the PDF that the Testo 300 produces. I'm able to attach that to the invoice and the customer through QuickBooks. All right, that's it. That Borg Warner is doing fine and it may have another decade of life in it. I wanted to add a note. I used to work for other people like 15 years ago and I've worked for some of the big companies in town and never once did any of them ever mention doing a combustion analysis. Not one single time have I ever seen them even have one available. So well, maybe that's something that sets me apart from the competition around here. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.